Hi, I'm Thomas Otter. I'm from Germany and I'm the co-founder and technical archers from Space Flowers. Uh, Space Flower is a small indie game studio which I founded with my friend Pete. We are just started to make our first game with a foundation from the Bavarian. Uh, Let them trade is a small game about building cities and the trade routes. The special part about this is that the trader are individuals, so they controlled by the PC and they trade resources as they wish. Players are building cities and their NPCs are controlling the traders. I got started with Houdini uh, during my study in Berlin. So I just watched some GDC talks and I saw a talk about uh, using trading assets in Unreal 4. And I was like, oh my god, there's such a software out there and couldn't believe I haven't uh, thought this before. I use Houdini and let them try to create procedural assets. We are just in the concept state, so we are, have to figure out how big the assets are, the models and the buildings, the trees. Don't care about the UVs and the LODs and everything takes care. Houdini for modeling is just an other way to modeling. So you can just model something and then you drop in some little code and this is a really helpful tool for us. Um, we're bringing assets from Houdini to Unity uh, with just simple FBX export. So it's just a one-click solution now, but we are looking forward to build complexer HDAs. Procedural workflows are available because you can create really fast assets. So you have a really high amount of assets in short time. And you are very flexible, so if you already implemented some models, you can easily change them. I think the future for procedural modeling in game development is um, the artist can focus more on the actual art and not on the production.